Hey Brian, what are you wearing on today's dive? Oh cool. So let's just start head to toe. Got my Mario's XR hard cap or helmet if you will. GoPro 12. I've got two of the comfort zone scuba landing seas. Two of the Mario's backup lights there. Uh, continuing on down. Standard dry suit hood, nothing fancy there. Got the Mario's X Vision for my uh, mask today. I've got the Mario's backplate and wing. It's just their three mil steel plate. Um, for reg set, I've got my Ocean Reef reg set, which is my salvage reg there. Second stages, we are paired up with the Ocean Reef second stage with the Mares non-adjustable dual second stage as well. Moving on down the fins, of course, I've got my Mares power planers there. And then suit options of choice, I've got the Scuba Force Expedition, my red model here. And then I've got an undergarment because it's really, really cold in what we're doing today. And then underneath it, I've got the Mares XR heated vest because we're basically not swimming around. We're literally just laying in the bottom and this cold mountain water is really cold. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm wearing on today's dive. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit that little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now if you can't tell, I am way out here in the mountains of North Carolina and it is absolutely beautiful here. And we're going to be diving one of two ponds today, but the pond behind us is what we're going to be focusing on today. And our job is basically to vacuum it out. And yes, I did say vacuum, that's what we're doing. We're going to take this big old pump over here behind me. And we're going to go down to the bottom of the pond and completely pump it out now it's not a hard job it's just kind of a meticulous job meaning we've got to spend a lot of time in one spot getting all the runoff all the silt all the debris out of there and then move the vacuum over and by vacuum what i mean is actually an intake pipe and i'm going to be making a video on how these intake or intake pipes actually work and some of the concerns that we have because a lot of people have been asking about differential pressure delta p how do we deal with that especially when you're in an area that you can't see nothing so there's no visibility but what I want to do is take you over here and show you what my dive buddy is actually wearing on today's dive and then answer any questions you guys have about why we wear the gear we do doing commercial type jobs just like this. Hey Brian, what are you wearing on today's dive? Well, I'm wearing my Scuba Force dry suit, as you can see. The thick undergarments, they're from a, a white undergarment from my other dry suit. I've got my Mario's <clears throat> back plate and wing. Just my salvage rig, which is a Prestige and a Mario's MV, mm -hmm. oh, along with my cool. helmet, two lights, Mario's no, X-Vision goggles, or my mask, and uh, just a standard uh, neoprene hood, and my Mario's power planer fins, all for today in this murky water. Awesome. So there you go guys, that's what we're wearing on today's dive. Like I said, mountain stream up here or mountain pond up here in the mountains of North Carolina. It is very, very cold. We are doing nothing more than just laying on the bottom and vacuuming the bottom up here, getting rid of all the debris, the runoff, the silt, the leaves, the branches, anything that shouldn't be there, that's what we're doing. And hopefully that'll help keep this place cleared out for the landowner as well. But we've got several more uh, jobs to do up here. We've still got to jump in. We've already spent one hour here. We're gonna spend another couple hours on this one. And then I believe tomorrow we're coming back to do his other pond as well. But if you got any questions or comments or concerns, drop me a comment down below. We'll try to answer your questions the best we can but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here I've decompressed long enough I'm ready to jump back in but if you like the video give me a big thumbs up definitely share it as a matter of fact in the comment section below let me know if there's a piece of gear that would actually assist us in making our job a little bit easier so if you think there's something that we should add to our gear definitely let me know and just to answer a quick question about why we're not wearing full face mask doing this well the biggest reason is the depth it's only about six to eight foot deep at the deepest point so for the majority of the pond if we need to communicate we can simply stand up and communicate with our surface crew and if you're not familiar with how comms unit on a full face mask the way they work is it's a digital signal that will only work underwater unless you have hardwired communications you can't communicate back and forth so you're constantly having to lean your head down in the water if you're standing up so it's a lot easier for us there's no hazmatic material here that we got to worry about it's easier just to wear a traditional mask with a reg set we can just pull it out 
talk back and forth, put it in, and continue to work. But that's going to do it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Until our next one, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.